want to take you on a tour of a brand new park site here in Coppell called Town Center Plaza. The goal obviously was to create a common area, a passive park area like we have here that encourages family and social gatherings and providing a place to relax and enjoy the outdoors. The tower was designed to be the focal point of this and obviously stands nearly 60 foot tall. And as we look around, you can truly be thankful uh, that our not so distant um, city leaders had this vision for the potential of this property to help preserve the use that it has been developed for today. The trails help to establish a connectivity between the public areas, and this type of venue encourages a new form of recreation in our community that will take on a more cultural aspect, prompting art shows, musical entertainment, and community theater type events. We really look forward to those alternate type of events that haven't otherwise been present in our community. And the plaques in the ground uh, will denote the season when the tower shadows land upon it. And there's one more item of interest that I want to tell you about that we're doing uh, with this tower and that's that uh, we're putting a time capsule in it. But anyway, in 2055, it will be our 100-year anniversary of our city. And um, at noon on December 19, 2055, on our 100th anniversary, the uh, uh, civic leaders of this community, the elected body, the uh, city management, will open the time capsule. And included in the time capsule is going to be uh, all sorts of things that uh, are going to tell our story. The time capsule has been placed in the tower. Uh, you can see the silver cap. And some of the items that you'll find in there that tell our story are maps, books, pictures, letters that tell about the future, the future of Coppellians, about how Coppell stands today. The time capsule is scheduled to be open at noon, December 19, 2055. And again, very thankful that you could join us today. We appreciate all the hard work of uh, half associates in helping us uh, make this become a reality. We hope that everybody uses this for uh, family gatherings, social events, arts fe festivities, concerts the water structures, enjoy it all. And uh, at this time, in honor of those who made this happen, uh, we stand before you today and thank you for your um, patience and uh, helping us uh, as we develop this. And now we're going to cut the ribbon and officially dedicate this space. There we go. Hey. Hey. Enjoy the park. <laughs> Town Center Plaza, the project started, uh, the discussion started many, many years ago, back uh, in the 1990s, and uh, the council at that time decided we just had a blank piece of land out here and we need to do something with it. Nobody's enjoying it, there's no activities going on back there, you know, let's do something with that piece of property. Uh, so in the late 90s they decided, well we're going to put that as part of our bond issue, and, and actually dedicate some money to that project. Um, over the years, the project grew and grew. We ultimately ended up spending about two and a half million dollars out here. Um, and I think you can, you can see that it was well worth the money. The actual plaza itself is located just south of the town center building, between town center, uh, the justice center, the YMCA, and town center elementary. It consists of about six acres of property and uh, uh, estimated about a third of a mile of sidewalks and trails. It is a good connector between some of the various uses in, in this area. It ties together the, the businesses to our west, uh, some of the homes to our east, and the YMCA course in the town center building. That's a very nice uh, connector and, and creates some opportunities for some cohesion in this area. We do have an amphitheater. That's the primary thing that you'll notice in the project. Uh, we hope to, to utilize that for some events and activities in the future. The tower does create a focal point for this entire area. It's about approximately 65 feet tall. So driving around the roads here, you can actually see this, and, and it leaves an identifying mark for this particular area. I think this, that the shade structure at the base of the tower actually brings people to the base of the tower so that they can get close to it and experience it uh, even more intimately. And uh, the shade structure was conceived by us, designed by us r rather schematically. Our structural engineer designed the steel bents which support it. 
But from there, the contractor had to take it and execute it. And the, uh, the fabric manufacturer collaborated with the steel fabricator to really put it together and, and get all the pieces to work just right. And they did a fantastic job. Because while, while we expected this sort of geometry to occur, they were very careful about not having, not having a steel uh, pushed up against the underside of the, of the fabric uh, so that it would stress it unnecessarily. And so we, we worked closely with them during the construction period to get that just right. And so I would say that the, the contractor contributed greatly to the success of that particular fabric structure. The fountains create a soothing atmosphere up around the amphitheater, and I think we'll, we'll, we'll create a, a cooling effect for people that come to watch a movie or watch a performance there at the, at the stage. The trail, it's been estimated that the trail is about a third of a mile long, so if, you, if you're so inclined, you can walk the trail three times around and, and get in your mile. Um, we do anticipate that a lot of people will use it. A lot of folks have already been out using it. We notice in the evenings. It's been a little bit warm here lately, but uh, we have noticed some people coming out and enjoying the, uh, the serenity of the area and, and just enjoying the space and walking the trails and, and making use of the facility already. There is a pavilion at the far south end by the YMCA building and uh, basically provides shade for that area down there. It creates a focal point at the termination of the plaza. Um, we anticipate that people will go down and use that for you know, taking breaks from work, uh, take their lunches there, and we do anticipate that some folks will maybe want to use it for events and activities, possibly some weddings and, and such down at the far south end of the plaza. The, the nighttime lighting really creates a, a unique experience. There's not a lot of lighting, but it is, is designed to where you, you feel safe. Uh, it's not overpowering, but it does create a sense of safety and, and a, a, a warm feeling in using the space. You feel like uh, you, know, you can see the, the area, it ties it all together. And uh, the lighting of the tower itself is actually quite stunning. If, if you've not seen it yet, uh, but it does, it creates quite a backdrop to the enti entire plaza and, and a real neat focal point. We have chosen a lot of landscaping that is native to Texas. We've actually split the landscaping. It, uh, you can see in the, the center areas is, is quite well maintained. Uh, but around the perimeter areas, we see a lot of native landscaping. There's a, kind of a contrast there between uh, the, the mowed area and the maintained area and what you see around the perimeter with more native materials. Obviously the, the plants themselves provide a certain type of foundational structure to the, to the park itself. Large trees help to define visual corridors. Large trees also provide some shade and that's what we've achieved indeed with the big tr trees that we've planted and made a choice for. All the trees are native to Texas and we made a very conscious decision about that for two reasons. We want to make sure to use native plants for the reason that number one they have a low water requirement so they're sustainable. Also they're well established to the to the environment of Texas. Fertilizer would be required less, um, maintenance would be less, so it, all around it's much more sustainable to use native plants. The last trees that we used were really to define again the visual sidelines that we have to provide shade, but also to guide and direct you as you walk through that site. In fact, you will notice on the side there's this long row of trees and suddenly that tree row just bends. It bends along the side of the sidewalk so that you experience how the tree help defines that experience for you. So that was an important aspect. Even small trees that we've chosen, the Eve's necklace, the Mexican plum, all those are small trees native to Texas that in the, if they color the flowers will bring some, some beauty and some excitement in the spring and as well as in the autumn. And they were very strategically placed so that they're at points where you can focus on them, you will see that, it will blossom and, and you will experience that. And that adds to just the overall experience of the, of the site itself. 
the plaza area that you see now was actually the, supposed to be the entry to the town center building. The, uh, the entry, as you know, now comes off of Parkway Boulevard on the north side of the building. But sometime during the, the development of the city, properties were sold and, and, and development occurred to the south of the building and created this opportunity for us to have this plaza. Uh, and I think we, uh, over the years, the, the city councils and the leaders of the community have made some wise decisions in developing this piece, piece of property for a, a passive recreational opportunity that, uh, you know, we're limited on here in Coppell. And uh, I think as, as a development has created some nice opportunities for the community.